Narcos Mexico is one of Netflix's most popular crime dramas. Season 3 debuted on November 5th, 2021, and fans are eagerly anticipating the announcement of a fourth season. In today's video, we'll talk about whether Netflix's Griselda is a good substitute for Narcos Mexico Season 4, and how Sofia Vergara to star in Griselda limited series. Stay tuned for all the answers to our question on whether Griselda can take the role of Narcos in the video. First up, Griselda release date. Netflix did not include an official release date in the press release. As a result, we'll have to wait a long time for the release date. However, we believe that Netflix will release this limited drama series in late 2022 or early 2023. To figure out when this series will be available on Netflix, we'll need a little more information. For the time being, the criminal drama is expected to premiere on Netflix in late 2022. With all of the new Netflix shows set to debut in 2022, a release date in early 2023 seems more feasible. The release date for this limited series is unknown. Filming might have begun as early as 2021, or it could begin in early 2022 and last until summer 2022, according to What's on Netflix. We can affirm that filming will be happening in Los Angeles and Miami as soon as we learn the official release date, we'll let you know. Now let's take a look at the plot for the show. Netflix has not yet issued an official synopsis, but we expect it to be released soon. However, based on the log, Line, we have a good idea of what the series will be about. The following is Griselda's logline as provided by Netflix. Griselda chronicles the real life of savvy and ambitious Colombian businesswoman Griselda Blanco, who created one of the most profitable cartels in history. A devoted mother, Blanco's lethal blend of charm and unsuspecting savagery helped her expertly navigate between family and business leading her to become widely known as the Black Widow. So, based on the log line, this series appears to be about the rise and fall of one of the most powerful drug lords. Despite the lack of an official release date, we believe that this drama series should be put on your must-watch list. Now, what the show is based on. Griselda Blanco was one of the most feared Colombian drug lords in the Miami underworld in the early 1980s. Colombian drug lord Griselda Blanco, often known as La Madrina, started the cocaine trade in the early 1970s when a teenage Pablo Escobar was still boosting vehicles. While Escobar would go on to become the most powerful drug lord in the 80s, Blanco was arguably the most powerful queen pin. It's unknown how close she was to Escobar, but she's alleged to have helped him get started. Escobar was Blanco's protege, according to some. Others, on the other hand, have contested this, alleging that the two were mortal enemies. What is certain is that in the 1970s, Griselda Blanco created a name for herself as a human trafficker. Then, in the 1980s, she rose to prominence as a key figure in the Miami drug warfare. Griselda Blanco was one of the most lethal ladies in the Colombian cocaine trade. From shopping center shootings to drive-by motorbike hit squads to house invasions, she was suspected of being involved in at least 200 homicides and possibly as many as 2,000. People were so afraid of her that her reputation preceded her wherever she went, said Nelson Abreu, a former homicide detective in the documentary Cocaine Cowboys. Griselda was worse than any of the men that were involved in the drug trade. Griselda Blanco, despite her cruelty, had a taste for the finer things in life. She owned a Miami Beach estate, diamonds purchased from Argentina's first lady, Eva Peron, and a multi-billion dollar fortune. Not bad for a kid from Cartagena, Colombia, who grew up in a poor neighborhood. Who was Griselda Blanco? Griselda Blanco, who was born in 1943, began her criminal career at a young age. She allegedly kidnapped a 10-year-old boy when she was 11 years old, then shot and killed him after his parents failed to pay a ransom. Blanco was forced to flee Cartagena due to the domestic violence and ended up on the streets of Medellin, where she survived by pickpocketing and selling her body. When Blanco met and eventually married Carlos Trujillo, a smuggler of unauthorized immigrants into the United States, at the age of 13, she had her first taste of turning crime into a large business. Their marriage did not last despite the fact that they had had three sons together, Blanco would subsequently assassinate Trujillo in the 1970s, making him the first of her three husbands to be brutally murdered. Griselda Blanco was exposed to the cocaine trade by her second husband, Alberto Bravo. They relocated to Queens, New York in the early 1970s, and their business took off. They had a direct route to Colombia's white powder, which diverted a significant amount of business away from the Italian mafia. Blanco was dubbed the godmother at this point. Now, now that
that we've discussed a few details about the upcoming show and what the true story behind the show is, it's now time to get into details we mentioned at the beginning of the video. Like whether this new Griselda show is going to be replacing Narcos Mexico Season 4 and what Sofia Vergara's role is in the show. Stay tuned to find out all these details. Is Netflix's Griselda a replacement for Narcos Mexico Season 4? Narcos Mexico Season 3 launched on Netflix on November 5, 2021 and is one of the most popular criminal series. While Netflix has previously declared that the third season of the criminal thriller about drug traffickers will be the final season, fans are wary of taking their word for it. Is there a chance for a fourth season of Narcos Mexico? The majority of the main players had either died or been imprisoned before the end of the third season. Carrillo Fuentes and Carlos Hank Gonzalez both perished at the end of the series, for example. Carrillo died as a result of complications from plastic surgery, while Carlos died of cancer. General Jesus Hector Rebollo was imprisoned, while Victor Tapia was assassinated in the DEA's investigation. Other significant players did survive, although it is still unknown what happened to them. After the third season, it was cancelled. This could be one of the reasons Netflix isn't planning a fourth season of Narcos Mexico. Carlos Bernard, the show's co-creator, spoke to The Hollywood Reporter about why the show was ending. I saw this season as a genesis narrative of the modern world that we live in, Carlos Bernard said. For me, it felt like building the show up to the point where, for better or worse, we now recognize it as a good place to end it made sense. Eric Newman, on the other hand, appears to be interested in continuing the story. Season 2 of Narcos Mexico focused on the 1980s drug battles, while Season 3 focused on the 90s. So there's still more than 20 years of the iconic drug war to delve into. Unfortunately, after Season 3, the show was cancelled. However, just after the third season of Narcos premiered, Netflix announced the team's next project. It's not Narcos Mexico Season 4, but Griselda, a six-episode limited series. The Colombian drug kingpin Griselda Blanco, sometimes known as the Black Widow, is the subject of Griselda. The show's executive producers will be Eric Newman and Sofia Vergara. The new series will be produced by the same creative team as Narcos. Next, Sofia Vergara, the star in Griselda's limited series. Vergara will play Griselda Blanco, the Colombian crime lord known as the Black Widow, in a six-episode limited series on Netflix titled Griselda, in her first role since closing off Modern Family. Vergara will also serve as an executive producer on the film. Griselda is the latest series under Netflix's official partnership with writer and executive producer Eric Newman. Newman, who was the showrunner for Narcos and Narcos Mexico for five seasons, is still an executive producer for the upcoming third season of Narcos Mexico. Doug Miro, Andre Bayez, and Carlo Bernard, all of whom worked on Narcos, will executive produce alongside Louis Balaguer. Bayez, a Colombian native, will helm all six episodes. The show is directed by Ingrid Escalada. Despite the presence of the Narcos cast, Netflix insists that the show is not a spin-off of its popular drug cartel thriller. Before bringing the project to Netflix, Vergara and Balaguer had been working on it for eight years under their Latin World Entertainment Company. Griselda Blanco was a larger-than-life figure whose vicious but cunning techniques led her to govern a billion-dollar empire years before many of the most prominent male kingpins we are familiar with, says Vergara. We are ecstatic to have found the ideal partners in Eric, Andre, and Netflix to assist us to bringing her life story to the screen. Blanca was never a significant character on Narcos, despite her proximity to Pablo Escobar and the Medellin cartel. In the 1980s, the female narco known as the Black Widow, La Madrina, and the Cocaine Godmother was one of the most powerful cocaine traffickers and a significant figure in Miami's drug battles. Her narrative has been recounted in movies before, including Catherine Zeta-Jones's portrayal of her in the 2017 film Cocaine Godmother. Jennifer Lopez is also working on a Griselda Blanco project called The Godmother with STX Films, which will be featured in the upcoming limited series. There you have it, all the latest news we currently have about the new Netflix limited series that is on its way, Griselda. Thanks for watching today's video.